day class. How are you today? I welcome you specially to today's geography class. I remain your geography teacher, Organa Sunday. Remember in the last class, we have looked at vegetation in Nigeria. I told you we have five major vegetation belts. The mangrove swamp forests, the rainforests, the Guinea savanna, the Sudan savanna, and the Sahel savanna, the far northeastern part of Nigeria. And many more like that we considered in the last class. For today's class, we are taking another revision class. We are looking at longitude and time. How to calculate local time of a place. By the end of the class, you should be able to examine the steps involved in calculating the local time. Number two, you should be able to calculate the local time of a given place. And lastly, you should be able to calculate the local time of, that is, places in different uh, direction and places in the same direction. This is what we are going to look at today. Let's look at, let's look straight away, let's look at the steps involved. The first step here, you locate the places involved. In the question you are giving, you have to locate the places, whether they are east, east, west, west, or they are in the same direction or a different direction. That is the first step you will take. We are going to make that practical very soon. Then number two, we looked at calculate the longitude differences, that is the longitude given. If they are in the same direction, we are going to subtract. When they are in different direction, we are going to add. And then the third one, we convert the, the longitude differences to time. That is the third uh, step. The last one, we adjust the time. Let's go ahead. Let's look at a chart. Let's look at this chart. These are lines of longitude running from the north to the south. They, are, they extend from the, the move from the middle, which is the Greenwich Meridian, towards the, the, the right hand, that is the east, towards the left hand, that is the west. You can see this one is 30 degrees east, 60 degrees east. If the two areas are located in this direction, we are going to subtract because they are in the same direction. But if you have one here and one at the other western side, we are going to add the both that direction to get the longitude difference. Let's go ahead. Let's look at example one. This is the first example. Calculate if the time at town A is seven, town A 75 degree west is 5 p.m. What will be the time in town B 120 degree east? What will be the time at this town B? Let's see. Let's apply the steps that we have just outlined. Let's look at the steps. The first step is to locate the places involved. Look at the question again. Town A A 75 degrees west. Then B, the town B, we said it was 120 degrees east. These are the two towns. The time of town A was given to be 5 p.m. Why the time of this place was not given? You put a question mark. And you draw an arrow to show that the time of the town, the other town, was not given. Now, this is your step one. You locate the place involved. Let's look at step two. In step two, you calculate the longitude differences. Now, look at the difference between this one and this in terms of longitude. Since they are in different directions, we are going to add. If they are in the same direction, we subtract. Now, let's look at this. With this one here, we have 120 degrees plus 75 degrees. Here, we are going to have 195 degrees. That is step two. You are done with that step two. Let's take the third one. The third step, which is step, step three. We, we convert the longitude differences to time by dividing by 15 because the earth rotates through 15 degrees in one hour. 15 degrees in one hour. Therefore, you're going to divide the given uh, that longitude differences by 15. That's why you're going to have 195 divided by 15. That will give you 13 hours. Now, this is step three. Now you go to the last step, which is the step four. You convert the time. Step four. You convert, you convert this one to time. You calculate. You adjust the time. I mean, you adjust the time. Since the arrow was pointing to the right, you are going to add the calculated hours to the given time. But as soon as it was pointing to the left, you are going to subtract for the given time. So simply, finally, we look at this. That is 5 p.m. plus 13 hours. The time in the other location will be that will be 6 p.m. next day. So it's always advisable to use a clock to, to do the addition. When you draw your clock, you have your six. You can do that on your own. This is nine, this is twelve, this is just two, one, four, five. Then this is seven, this is eight, this is ten, 
11. You start from 5 p.m., you are adding 13 hours. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. You know, you are in 6 p.m. because you have crossed 12. 6 p.m. already. So the time will be 6 p.m. next day. Hope that is clear. So by next class, we are going to look at how to calculate a local time of places in uh, the same direction. So before that, please don't forget we have looked at the various steps involved in the calculation. Kindly open your attached document for more information. And don't forget to turn in your tag before the end of today. Stay safe. Thank you.